All right, gather around, my friends, and I shall tell you a tale. Let's do the proper projector shootout for 2024. I'm going to simplify this. You don't need 35 different options. There are so many different kinds of projectors with a different name and a different slight advantage here or there. Listen, we're at a point where if you're going to get five lux difference between projector A and projector B, are you really going to notice that on the road? The answer is no. You don't need to go through and be bombarded with some propaganda that some other company is trying to confuse you with, with 35 different options, right? You really only need to. I mean, sure, there are going to be some exceptions, right? There's your disclaimer. But for the majority of people watching this who are going to do a retrofit, you're coming from one of two places. You're either looking to buy a brand new set of headlights already retrofitted with the projector, something like maybe a seven inch round headlight like we offer or one of our Nissan Xterras. You're going from either a halogen setup or a previous LED setup to our new version. If that's the case, you're gonna use the bi LED projector all the time, right? Super easy to install, comes with a threaded shaft, compact, two and a half inch lens, fits a ton of different shrouds. You can mount it just about anywhere. The hookups couldn't be easier. We give you a 9006 plug, then we give you the adapters, so everything is plug and play right into your factory headlight socket. You get a high beam that's built in. You can tap into an existing high beam if you've got a setup that might have a second high beam in there. You can just do a bunch of stuff with this, and it's so easy. So you don't have to stress about brand X versus brand Y versus brand Z. Guys, at the end of the day, a lot of that is just fancy marketing, right? We have our own projectors, right? We've worked with our manufacturer to produce them in the way that we want them produced. But at the end of the day, if you're looking at a different brand, you're trying to rack and stack and, and go online and ask 75 questions about which one is best for your application, you don't have to do any of that. Just get a good quality bio LED projector. We sell one, you don't have to buy it from us. You can buy it anywhere you want. You will be much better off than if you rack your brain trying to determine all that. The other one to think about is if you're coming to us with an already existing headlight that's running HID and you want to upgrade to a better performing projector. So I used the example of a Porsche Cayenne in the past. We also have the Volvo P2Rs, the S60Rs, the V70Rs that we do a lot of work on here. That's going to be the SR6 projector that we offer here. Again, you know, another company might call it something different. These are all essentially the same. Inside this projector, the mounting points for a for what's called a G5, Hella G5 based projector are the same. You're probably getting a very similar projector. You don't have to worry about which one is ABCX and this one has this foreground limiter and this one has that foreground limiter. Guys, it's overly complex. You're trying to upgrade your output, right? From candles to an awesome 2024 technology be it hid or led the results are going to be phenomenal so if you're going to come here and say oh i've got to have this much width or this much hot spot do you really need to do all of that or do you really just want a good performing projector that's going to blow away just about everything on the road right if you do you come to the simple fact of whether or not you want hid or led and in my opinion it comes down to this simple equation. If you have a halogen setup, go LED. If you have a pre-existing HID setup that is already using an HID ballast, do not go LED, right? Don't confuse your computer on your vehicle. Go HID, but upgrade the projector, upgrade the bulbs, keep your stock ballast. The computer's not going to know any different, no error codes, and you're going to have increased output, right? So you're going to get this better performing optics inside, right? You've got a clear lens instead of that fluted lens that's, that's got that Fresno lens, rather, that's going to dilute the cutoff. So you got a crisper cutoff, wider width, better hotspot. These things have come a long way in the last 10 years. So they're phenomenal. You don't have to try to upgrade to LED if you have an existing HID setup because you've read that it's better. It's not necessarily better, guys. What you're getting is world-class performance in either one of these, right? So if you're trying to understand where you want to put your money buy the product that's going to fit the best they're going to perform great regardless of which one of these you choose right so i couldn't stress it enough just buy this just buy this one just go ahead and buy it if you've got an halogen setup and if you've got an hid setup give us a call nine times out of ten you're going to need this projector right sure there's some exceptions out there where this one might not be the right one we'll talk to you about that right but for the vast majority of everybody out there you're getting way too much information 
way too confused on what's out there in the market. It pains me to see all of these options. It's like, here's 35 different options that all do the same thing. Are you really gonna be able to choose? No, get it down to basic brass tacks. HID, buy the SR6, LED, buy our Byzenon, or our buy LED projector. They're both on the website. And if you just wanna call us and ask, give me a call, 716-662-3479. I'll tell you the same thing, but we'll talk about your car specifically. We'll talk about how deep the mounting point might be, which product is gonna be your best bet. All right, don't get confused and don't fall victim to what I call big headlight propaganda out there, right? Just simplify it. It really is that easy. I've been doing this for nearly 30 years and it comes down to just these two projectors 99% of the time. Hope that helps you guys out there. Keep on retrofitting. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have a great day.